Hi everybody, this is Petra Kaiser again. Today I brought my studio down to the living room since it is cold upstairs. I brought a piece of iridescent clear. As you know, it's one of my favorites from the painting video. It's around about 9 inch by 9 inch square and I will fire it on top of a piece of Kaiser Liebord as a mold. And iridescent side down. This is the sound you hear when you scratch the iridescent side. This is the clear side. Iridescent side down doesn't stick to the Kaiser Liebord. I also brought some pre-cut pieces that I will use to decorate the glass with. I cut them upstairs a while ago so that I wouldn't cut them here in the living room. I also brought a tiny piece to show you how to cut, how I cut those uneven pieces. Okay, also I will use a product that's called Fused Tack Film to secure my decoration, my decor pieces and the clear glass before I bring it upstairs again. Good, that's pretty much it. Let's start. Today's project will be a little bowl, maybe a cereal bowl or a lid bowl. I haven't decided yet. It, the glass is big enough to accommodate both. This is a clear iridescent glass again, iridescent side down. Want to hear the squeak? Here it is. Okay, also the clear side feels a lot smoother than the iridescent side. The iridescent side kind of stops the finger. Iridescent side down has the advantage that the board will not stick to the glass or the glass won't stick to the Kaiser Lee board. Since we will, of course, be using a Kaiser Lee board mold. I cut some uneven shapes. I like working with lots of little pieces of glass shapes and place them on there. Huh, what an artist. But I'm not done yet. Let me play a little bit and then you will see later the end result. That can take anywhere from an hour to two so I won't bore you with moving those pieces around till I like them. Hmm. This is as far as I've got. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like this since I'm not finished yet. I might just change it around again. That's a big advantage we have over the painters is we can take a glass piece away, move it back and exchange it for a smaller one. All these pieces have been cleaned before I brought them down. So I cut, touch them more or less with my tweezers. And also when I cut some more pieces with a mosaic cutter, I don't have to clean it afterwards because the mosaic cutter is not oily and I'm really careful. This is the way I'm getting those beautiful shapes that are so uneven. I love working with them. I love working with color fields. I've made a whole sculpture with this technique. It's out on Sanibel right now at Big Eyes. Okay, this is it for now. I'll show you more later. Here we are back again. It really took me two hours to move those pieces and they keep looking at me and I want to keep moving them and moving them. But I think I have some nice design there. A little dynamic, a little sub calm, coming in from a different direction. So in the past what we had to do was to pick up every single piece, put a little glue on there and then put it back down. I still like to tell my students that they have to do that. And they look at me like I'm the craziest person in the world. Okay, no longer. We have fused tack film. And the beauty about it is you put a drop right in the center or in between several pieces. And the glue has a capillary effect. It actually goes under the glass. Oh. You try not to use too much. You only need a little drop. So 
to secure each one. The only disadvantage about the glue is that it takes about 40 minutes, 30 minutes to 40 minutes to dry. Before then everything is still movable, which is nice too, but everything would move if I would be too impatient and bring it up sooner. Okay, that takes a little while, but not as long as it would take to pick each piece up and glue it down. It works well with smaller pieces. It does work with bigger pieces, but not really necessary to do it with bigger pieces. We use it mostly when we have things like this. Um, try to remember where I have been before. We've tested this glue for one year by now. So, so far so good. It's also important to really let it dry before you put it in the kiln that you don't see any residue. If it's dry, you don't see any residue. If it's still wet, you might see a tiny bit. So please let it dry thoroughly. Thanks for watching. That was it for today.